the Nigerian Bar Association NBA, has asked the federal government to discontinue the trial of the Chief Justice of Nigeria CJN, Justice Walter Onogan before the Code of Conduct Tribunal CCT. NBA President, Paul Usoro, San, in a statement on Monday claimed that it was now obvious that the actual AIM executive arm of government was to remove Justice Onogan from office. Usoro argued that the dictate of democracy and rule of lay mandate that the federal government complies with the constitutional requirement and lawful procedure in effective such removal. He said, due process is not followed when the executive branch of the FGN files an interlocutory motion before the Code of Conduct Tribunal for the removal of the CJN. Such an application disparages and assaults due process as enshrined in Section 292-1-A-I of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended the Constitution. The Constitution leaves no room howsoever for the removal of the CJN from office, whether on a temporary or permanent basis, other than through the process of four quoted. Being a country governed by laws, the FGN owes us a duty to comply strictly with these provisions of the Constitution for the removal of the CJN. We therefore urge the executive branch of the federal government to please retrace its steps and discontinue the entire proceedings before the CCT forthwith and follow the constitutional procedure if or stipulated. Established judicial precedents dictate that the allegations must be referred to and handled by the National Judicial Council NJC, and it is only after the NJC's pronouncement thereon against the CJN can the FGN prosecuting agencies proceed against him before any tribunal or court of law. For as long as the CJN remains a judicial officer, that process avails him and his mandatory of compliance by the FGN. Should the federal government however succeed in removing Honorable Mr. Justice Walter S. N. Onogan, GCON as the CJN pursuant to the provisions of Section 292-1-A of the Constitution, there would be no need or requirement for the FGN to fulfill the NJC precondition ahead of his possible prosecution. With a constitutional removal from office, Onogin CJN would cease to be a judicial officer and the allegations against him would not need to be determined by the NJC ahead of any possible prosecution. The choice is therefore that of FGN to make either to pursue the removal of the CJN pursuant to Section 292-1-A of the Constitution or report the alleged assets declaration infraction to the NJC for its consideration as a precondition for the possible prosecution of the CJN. Whichever route the FGN chooses, the CCT proceedings must abate and be discontinued. It constitutes an assault on due process and undermines the rule of law. The sponsored media trial of the CJN must also stop, amongst others, it criminally destroys the justice sector, subverts due process and completely erodes the rule of law. This desecration of the justice sector must stop now, please.